right, so they want us to describe the area of this rectangle. And I know the area of a rectangle is its base times its height. I just need to introduce some variables. So this is the x and the y axis. So this little length here must be x, and this little length here must be y. And so the area of my rectangle, well, the base is uh, two x's long. And the height looks like it's two y's long. And so it's just going to end up being four xy. And so I guess technically, since it's area, it should be positive. As this angle goes from quadrant to quadrant, the x's and the y's could become um, negative. So I guess we will slap some absolute values on there. Fine. Or maybe it's just some absolute values on the whole thing, and that'll be safe. So we've got that. So that's area in terms of x and y, but they want area in terms of theta. Fine. We know that on our unit circle, the x is defined as the cosine of theta, and the y is defined as the sine of theta. Now here we're not on a unit circle. The radius isn't 1. The radius is r. So the more generic form is x is r cosine theta, and y is r sine theta. So now we just plug that into here. 4 times the absolute value of r cosine theta for the x, and r sine theta for the y. And so we're getting 4 r times r is r squared. That can go ahead and come out of the absolute value because it's always going to be positive anyway. It doesn't need it. And r squared cosine theta times sine theta. And that's the area all in terms of theta. We look on our answer sheet, and I think we see it there as d. All right.